Hello and welcome back to another scripting tutorial video and today we will be looking at creating a custom shop for your server. This will be a very basic tutorial and will only cover cobblestone. Obviously you can adapt and integrate it into GUIs and other things. We will also be taking a look at the use of options and how they are useful in our code for easy editing. So we want to jump right into our editor and start off by creating an option. We have never actually looked at options before but this is how you write them. Uh, it's kind of like writing an event and there's also a variables option but this is how we're going to store our cobblestone price we'll just do cobble price and then two so this is the name of the option and this is the value of the option and later on we'll be looking at how to cover options or how to call options sorry now let's get into making our command so command slash shell this is obviously create a command as we know and now we're going to be looking at a new condition uh, if player's inventory contains cobblestone. Obviously this will uh, uh, this will go if the player's inventory contains cobblestone. And now we'll be setting a variable called amount to the amount of cobblestone in the player's inventory so we can work out how much money they need to, re they need to receive. As script is an English based language it's very simple to understand and obviously we all know what that does. So just say you have four blocks of cobblestone in your inventory, this amount variable will be set to four. And now this is where we're going to call our option. So set profit to cobble price and to call an option you use the same way you would do a variable but you add a at sign at the start and then na the name of the option. So set profit to cobble price times the amount the player has. So this will do the amount to say they have one times the two that we've set our cobble price. Obviously we use an option so you can edit it very easily. So say we want to change it to four, do that. So and now we're just gonna obviously I'm not gonna fully do it, so I'm just gonna send back the profit so we know it's working. And now we're going to want to create another conditional that if the player doesn't have any cobblestone it'll say sorry but you don't have any cobblestone in your inventory so that is all we need to do now if we save that and go back in game uh, there should be no errors and now we can do slice sell. Obviously, we don't have any cobblestone in our inventory, so it's not going to work. Uh, now, if we add a few cobblestone, let's say two, or let we'll do one. Uh, if we sell this, we should get two. That's the profit that is returning this profit variable because that's how much it is cobblestone price, which is two times one, which is obviously still two. So I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. Obviously you're gonna have to integrate it into your own like GUI shops, but this is a basic tutorial and hopefully it helped you.